lift your voices to him. As you've heard, the Lord spoke, started speaking to me about Ezra in this a year ago. He gave me these things in the middle of the night when I had no idea what we were going to be talking about at Waterfall, the season we were going to be in. We're in a season of a rebuild. There's a royal decree over your life. I believe your heart has been moved by God because you are here. So now take ownership of the decree over your life. Look at what you can do. If you've been blessed more financially, can you give to the rebuild more than others can? Offer free will offerings. And what can you do quickly? and easily as a as a um, offer of sacrifice to get back into right obedience with the Lord. There's my preach. I could have just said that. <laughs> could have just said that. But I think our primary measure needs not to be the measuring tape but the plumb line. And uh, I find a plumb line fascinating because it only really tells you one thing. It's like, is something straight? Is something true? You know, you can't take a wall that's been built out of true and just give it a bit of a shove and push it back into true and then continue to build on it. You know, the reality is if a, if, if a wall is wonky, the only thing that you can do is pull it down and start to build again. Many of us, I see too often, foolish brides use things as an excuse that wise brides use as things to propel them forward. Well, I'm going through a really hard time right now. Well, the wise bride would say, this is, it's the tough time that's gonna excel me to the next level. It's a, what I'm trying to speak at here is a mindset shift. It's not about practicalities, it's a mindset shift. You have to be willing to say, I now want to think like a bride, think like a wise bride. I don't wanna be a foolish one anymore.